tuning in. Uh, this is the second installment of our uh, virtual wine tasting for Falmouth Wine Spirits. So this week we have an awesome rosé that uh, Jay and I both really like. Uh, that's perfect for Memorial Day weekend. So this is Chateau Brunet Romance Mediterranean. This is a really old um, Provence rosé house. So it's a really classic rosé. In fact, the property dates back to the Roman road that joined um, Spain and Italy. So this is a very iconic location. I'm making the wine that we've all come to know and love, that zippy, fun, fresh Provence rosé. Something else that's kind of fun to note is that it's got one of these glass, glass closures, so you just kind of can use the foil cutter on your corkscrew or a butter knife and pop that open and you've got sort of a glass closure. And I like that because it's completely resealable. So that will last in the cooler, that will last in the fridge, that will not let any air get into it. So it's a nice little extra feature. Let's have a sip. So we've seen that there's beautiful pale salmon color, a lot of fruit, a lot of dryness, sort of um, almost like an apricot-y thing, wild strawberry, peachy, not overripe. Let's give it a sip. A zest and a zing. There's a lot to offer in this wine. It's got a big body. It's not overly acidic. It's totally delicious. Before I tell you more about this one, I want to just show you what makes it so special. So let's see how to make rosé. If you look here, I've got some grapes. And I've got some grapes that is making red wine and some grapes that are making white wine. So if we're making a red wine, we simply crush and put it in there with the skins and let it macerate and let that skins color it because the inside doesn't actually have any color. So we can remove the skins and put it into this one to make white wine. But how do we make rosé? Best way, the most common way, the most acceptable way is to bleed off. Just let the skins color the wine a little bit and then remove them. This is just water and, and the grape skins. And you can see it. That's rosé. So that's how you make rosé. And what makes this wine really special is that it's got 15% Merlot, 15% uh, Syrah, 25% Cinso, and then the rest, 45%, is Grenache Noir. And that is actually red in the middle. So it's a really unique red that's full of flavor. Um, I hope you like this video. There's a second one coming about my tips and tricks to how to buy a great rosé no matter where you go. But if you go to Fallon with Wine Spirits and give us a call, you know it's going to be good. So give us a call at 508-548-4824, and we'll see you this weekend. Thanks.